All right, we're heading into map number three between Paladin and Zeus. And I was just wondering, we've seen a huge load of Night Elf Mirrors in season one. But did we see a single one on Lost Temple? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Um, it is Paladin spawning in the uh, left hand spawn position. Altar first, Moonwell second. Same for his opponent Zeus on the right hand side. And yeah, Night of Mirror on Lost Temple is kind of its own matchup. I mean, it's the map that um, that rewards using mobile units the most by far. And on top of it, it's got the heal fountain in the middle, which makes the use of hunts a lot more easy than the use of uh, archers. And therefore, usually what you would see in Night Elf Mirrors on Lost Temple is a lot of hunts with priestress early on. But at the same time, often, let's just quickly check the heroes here on both sides. On Zeus's side is the priestress and for Paladin as well. Um, at the same time, the problem is that the shops are often rather far away from the action, especially if one of the players or both of the players spawns at uh, the bottom or top spawn position and therefore acquiring the dust is rather you know can be rather inconvenient and therefore often at the, at the first night the players would place a uh, whisper next to the laboratory to have at least reveal available but yeah it made for some rather yeah unconventional um yeah, early games or games in general on Lost Temple between Night of So Hunter's Hall and Ancient of War by Paladin on Zeus' side. Uh, saving up a little more. One Ancient of War, two Ancients of War. And Warrior this is the Hunter's Hall guy, I'm assuming. Yeah, Hunter's Hall as well. So mass hunts by Zeus. And on Paladin's side, we also do see double Ancient of War. So yeah, Priests of the Moon on both sides, mass hunts. Both of them are attacking a Scout Whisper right now. Let's see this one. Uh, don't want to miss anything. Okay, this one definitely has been dispelled by Paladin. The one of Zeus is trying to hide here. Not successfully able to do so. Therefore, first XP is going to uh, Paladin. Zeus, on the other hand, heading towards the middle right now. Not really anything to do at this early stage of the game. Uh, what are we? Yeah, second moon. Well, this guy heading towards the bottom, perhaps at the moment, just to do some scouting, you know, not to miss any sneaky ancient protectors or anything like that. And both of them are starting to creep with their lone priestesses. I mean, there's no ancient of war creep or anything like that that would be harass worthy on the other side. So, uh, yeah, gotta make the best out of this rather useless time in the beginning before the first hunts are spawning. So pretty active wisp spread here early on by Paladin, whereas Zeus is just keeping the wisps inside of his own main base early on. So far, uh, Paladin hasn't killed any of the creeps. Zeus about to finish the first null here, the null brood. And then the action is going to begin. And there is the pretty early Tree of Life on uh, Zeus's side. Wisp already in position for... Um, Paladin as well, so we'll see if he's going to react with some early aggression or with his own expansion. And yeah, first hunts finally out for Zeus, first hunt for Paladin out as well, hunt number two and three out for Paladin as well. And he is, is he heading towards the right hand side right now? Yes, it looks like he's going to go straight for the Tree of Life, so we're not going to have the early dancing around the. Uh, the fountain in the middle here between both the Huntress and Priest of the Moon armies it is an immediate cancel on the Tree of Life and I don't really see anything that Zeus should be able to do against that. But then again it's not going to cost him all too much and we'll see how much damage he's going to be able to do in return here. The base is walled off so there is no way that the Hunts or the Priests can get to the back to do any damage to the Wisps or to the Entangled Gold Mine. Expansion has to be cancelled, Wisp is being detonated and are we seeing some aggression on the side of Paladin as well. The base here is open. And there's a decent load of Wisps 
in the back. Shop is coming right now. Moonwell is going to be cancelled at the same time. He's actually going for the first of the Ancients of War. Wants to limit the production, apparently, of his opponent. 31 supply, by the way, against 33 hunts. Against uh, 4 currently. The fourth one is in production for Zeus. And... Um, Paladin is going for one of the Ancients of War as well, but it looks like he is the first one to lose one of his Ancients of War. So having the Moonwell here on auto heal, usually nothing the players tend to do, but uh, does he even? Yeah, it looks like he's got that. So yeah, some harassment going on on either side, both of them having one Ancient of War super low. And after just killing one of them, Zeus is the one to actually decide to town portal here, trying to save his own Ancient of War, going for the first hunt here immediately after town portaling. The Ancient of War is still being attacked, the first Wisps are falling here, but it looks like the Ancient of War for the moment is gonna stay alive. The Wisps are now retreating though. Is he running? No, he's not running out of resources or anything. Really, really putting his Ancient of War in danger, but it looks like he still has the situation under control. Surround so attempt there for a second. But uh, I don't think that any of the players has reveal available just yet. This ancient of uh, this uh, wisp belongs to Paladin, but not to Zeus. So Zeus doesn't have um, reveal available currently. And yeah, still neither of the players with a dust. Tier one still for Zeus. Tier one still for Paladin. And he has finished his own tree of life in the meantime. Right. Next to the harassment, apparently didn't pick up on that, but neither did Zeus, and yeah, now this, you know, expected uh, dance around the fountain begins. Paladin, the one player with the back to his fountain, right now neither of the players waking up the creeps, both of them of course have the opportunity to just use Shadow Melt, at least as long as it is still night time. <coughs> And Paladin is actually the first to start a little bit of creeping here, taking down one of the Null Wardens. Both of these Nulls should be uh, killable for the uh, Croatian though. And he does so, both of them reaching level 2 on the Priestesses right now. The first hunt of Paladin is in a bit of trouble. Nighttime is about to end. So now it gets a little bit more interesting. No hide available anymore and therefore both of the players have to... Yeah, try and micro a little bit more carefully, not getting their hunts stuck, for example. And Zeus is the first one to get a kill on one of the hunts here. At the same time, he's getting one of his hunts surrounded as well. So uh, both of them are going to be able to take a kill here. Block attempt by Zeus, but this hunt is going to get away. Uh, the hunt of Zeus has fallen. Paladin has to fall back towards the right-hand side of the fountain. This next hunt is in a bit of trouble, by the way. 1-1 one, one for Zeus already against 0-0 zero, zero for uh, Paladin. So yeah, pretty big upgrade lead here actually for um, the uh, Red Knight Elf. And yeah, as you can see, both of them just trying to do their best dancing around the fountain for the moment, but it is uh, Paladin who has to fall back. Two of his hunts pretty low already. 50 supply for Paladin, 47 for Zeus, but his expansion is waiting here. Whereas Scout Wisp of Paladin is here and no more expansion attempt by Zeus, who's trying to get this around on this hunt right now, but... Uh, She's able to squeeze through. It looks like he's gonna be allowed to finish the red camp here in the middle right now. Where or is he? Paladin is coming back. I mean, these guys are somewhat tanky, especially against the normal damage of these hunts. But I think he's probably gonna be too late, at least for the first of these null overseers. The kill is going to Zeus. Greater heal potion for the priestress, which is yeah nice, especially considering that he doesn't have a town portal anymore. So if this priestess gets surrounded, then she's gonna need all the. Uh, sustainability that she can get and Zeus actually charging forward for a moment there against the priestess of uh, Paladin and Paladin yeah he realized apparently there is, that there is no town portal and he's trying to go for the surround and he gets it at the same time it looks like surround on the priestess of Paladin might be occurring as well heal potion is still available is being used and Paladin is forced to use the town portal here whereas Zeus with the level up here is he gonna survive yes he is going to survive at 85 HP and now he's probably going to be the one finishing this creep camp So yeah, pretty tense situation there. Um, Paladin is now finally, you know, as there's nothing else for him to do in the middle anymore, going to take his uh, expansion. By the way, still tier 1 for Zeus. He still has 1-1, one, one, of course, since cannot afford any other upgrades on tier 1. And still 0-0 zero, zero for uh, Paladin. 
Getting an Ancient Protector here as well. Getting the not level 3 here. Almost. Two experience points missing. Two Ancient Protectors. 60 supply for Zeus already. He's broken here. He uh, yeah, maybe is aware or at least has uh, somewhat of an idea that there perhaps might be an expansion by his opponent. And he just went for as big of an army as he possibly could get early on. This Ancient Protector is probably going to be cancelled by the Bouncing Glaives. <coughs> Paladin with the inferiorly sized army has to come in from the top there also he's got the weaker aura currently there's also a book of the dead but uh, wisps are nearby actually he has, he has very few wisps here he doesn't have a single lumber wisp um, in his base so until he brings one out of his mine or produces another one this book of the dead in a fight could potentially do quite a bit of damage the uh, one of the two engines of war of Paladin has fallen here in Zeus yeah he's pushing in here with his 1-1 tech hunts with a 14 supply lead currently, one of the hunts is being taken down here by Paladin, the one that was on super low HP, which would have died after a second of fight anyways, and it looks like he just wants to win some time here. An archer being added by Zeus, well, if she's in a decent position and not accessible, then it can work, but usually not the, the most common idea in those biggest battles to mix both of the uh, unit types, hunts and... Uh, archers and yeah three edge protect uh, protectors in production and two of them will come up here it looks like at least one of them did come up already the second one is about to finish as well but the damage output look at it just quickly focusing that one it's almost dead immediately and Paladin is coming in from the right hand side again still he didn't kill anything in this fight he's still at level 2.99 and he again has to fall back back so many of his hunts are on low HP, the altar is gonna fall, the moonwell is gonna fall, the next end protector halfway finished, the archer is now scouting the expansion so now he knows about uh, what's happening at the top of Paladin's base and he's going for the tree of life of Paladin immediately and it looks like now he might be forced to commit soon if he doesn't want to lose that um, tree of life not going for the ancient protector here by the way which would have been a very easy pick off but the tree of life is already halfway down down to 450 hp now the book of that is being used by zeus and there's just no way in hell that paladin can really do anything at this point i mean the piercing damage of these skeleton archers is also going to be a great deal here still i don't really agree with these archers that's free level three for uh, paladin right now but the tree of life has fallen both down to one mine of gold in income currently. This one isn't even fully running, but is soon to be. And these archers are not going to do so well at the fountain against these hunts. One of them is falling. Uh, it's a little sloppy there by uh, Zeus. At the same time, some more units of Paladin have fallen as well. 34 supply for him against 56 of Zeus. Who's uh, going to take down the final age protector here at the main base of Paladin. And what's the play here for Paladin? That's really the question. One, two, three, four, five, six hunts, which are somewhat low. He's bringing three of them, the three that aren't totally dead yet, back into the fight. There's, yeah, four Moonwells, which he doesn't want to have, you know, going to waste. Level 4.7 or so already on Zeus's Priestress. Paladin also all the, all the way up to level 4 already. So went up an entire level throughout these little clashes here. At least he got his hunts healed at the Moonverse here. Only one of them with some Moonshoes remaining and he's just continuing to do hit and runs against these archers. So Zeus is really giving him a shot at, you know, gaining some rather easy kills here and getting some rather easy XP. I totally don't agree with that still. The three hunts here in the middle have apparently healed up a little bit, are gonna be put back into the fight. The three other hunts are gonna be sent back. And reveal used by Paladin coming in from the top, and he's gonna get another two of these archers killed. 4.3 by now on the priestess of uh, Paladin. And he's got the two edge protectors up here as well as two ages of war. Still plenty of hunts, of course, for Zeus available. 52 supply against 35. He just wants to quickly, apparently, make sure to take down these uh, Moonwells, which is going to heavily supply by Paladin. He doesn't have a single Moonwell finished here yet. Even has to use one of the Gold Wisps to continue production because he's supply blocked and he doesn't have any more Wisps down at the expansion. So one of the Moonwells down, second Moonwell down, one remaining. The Priestess here cannot really, the Priestess of Paladin cannot really achieve anymore here. 
And he's going for some counter aggression. And there's not really any defense at this base. And does he have a town portal even? No, he didn't rebuy the town portal. So this game could turn into a base trade right now. The uh, first of the two Angels of War is falling. One Angel Protector is being built in the back. The base here seems to be walled off. Yeah, but the shop could be a rather easy target eventually to break through that wall. And it is per uh, Zeus, on the other hand, who's chasing forward into Paladin's expansion as well. This Angel Protector, for some reason, uh, thought that he had to reposition. And that cost him his life very quickly. Level 5 in the meantime on the Priestess of Zeus. The second Angel Protector is falling as well. A couple of Hunts have fallen on Zeus's side in the meantime. A Hunter's Hall, new Hunter's Hall is being built now. And he doesn't have the means to even produce Hunts at the moment. The next Ancient... Uh, of war is gonna fall and the lone priestess and the one hunter are not gonna be able to defend the space in the long run at the same time both of the ancients of war of zeus have fallen though ancient protector is soon to finish and that one is gonna be quite difficult to deal with because he doesn't have access to that one yet with uh, his attacking hunts Your building is in the meantime zeus is falling back with a couple of his units it looks like yeah he might be willing to defend he feels like apparently he's ahead by enough to not be forced to pressure this expansion down immediately. Only continues pressuring with a few units, three hunts and the priestess. Uh, this one shouldn't battle the Ancient of War here immediately. The creeps also taking part in the action here. And it was actually Paladin who apparently wanted to pull back to the fountain here for a moment. Uh, unwilling to commit against this uh, Ancient Protector in the base, but Zeus's army was already waiting there, so yeah, <laughs> a lot of chaos is happening at the moment. The Priestress and the two Hunts continue pressuring here, more Wisps would love to be produced, but still Supply Block for Paladin, but as soon as he loses another Hunt, he's not going to be Supply Blocked anymore, but actually, it is the Pole, the Pole? Yeah, let's just keep it like that, it is Paladin who is the first one to pick up one of the Hunts of his opponent here, and securing access to the Fountain for the moment. And Zeus's priestess seems to be unhappy with that. Both of the ancient uh, ancients of war have fallen once again for uh, Paladin, and his main base is entirely gone. So his production is entirely gone once again. Twenty nine supplies still for him, and he's doing well. Zeus is giving him the chance. Wow, another tree of life for him. Is giving him the chance to win a bit of time here. I feel like Zeus could probably just finish the game here if he attacked with everything against this expansion, but apparently he doesn't want to risk going into a base trade kind of scenario because he's only got that one base currently and it looks like he's not so sure about his opponent only having the one base remaining and then, you know, if he got his main killed and there would still be another expansion somewhere, then perhaps he could still lose this game in which he's up by only 10 supply at the moment, but a thousand gold. Yeah, the problem for him is that he lost both of his Ages of War as well, so both of the players with very limited production, another hunt of um, Paladin has fallen. The Tree of Life here could quickly be killed. Yeah, that's what he's doing, and uh, yeah, therefore he has to cancel that one immediately. And the hunts continue running here for Paladin. Ah, the one hunt, uh, he's not getting a block in here. Looks like he's not gonna get a kill on either of those, and it is fountain time again for Paladin. Still upgrade-wise, the same situation, by the way, and we do see tier 2 coming here by Zeus. So, yeah, we'll see what he's gonna add to the army here. Perhaps a couple dryads, like bears is totally pointless on Lost Temple usually because they are so slow and immobile and in this kind of game, as we've seen in the past 18 minutes here, hit and runs all the time, just relying on those fast units, bears not really, you know, the most uh, most common approach. So one, two, three, ancient protectors up here, finally another ancient of war is being produced by Paladin. And Zeus uh, creeping his expansion ring of protection for the Priestress. And Circlet for the Priestress of Paladin, who is closing in on level 5 as well. Power might go off. <laughs> That'd be quite bad news. In this game, which after yeah almost 20 minutes now seems to be somewhat still open. 
for some reason. And he's gonna be able to cancel this again, maybe. But the whole army of Zeus is coming in. Is he just quickly gonna go for the kill again? Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. And he's definitely gonna get that one. Unless uh, he, for some reason, stops committing to it. The first hunt has to be hidden here. And yeah, the tree is being cancelled. And now, let's see how much Paladin loses on the retreat. Nothing so far. And there's still... This is still Paladins. There still is no Wisp around the oh, Goblin Lab for Zeus. And Knight has just started. So this hunt is going to be safe for a while. Just keeping an eye on this gold mine to see whether a new Tree of Life attempt by Paladin will be started. Second Ancient of War is coming for him again. So finally he's going to be able to fully produce again in just a second. And the hunt actually is being caught on the way here. So she went down after all. Yeah, these two hunts hidden here. Are gonna heal up. Uh, wow. He smelled it somehow and he apparently did get a wisp finally at one of the goblin labs. One of the hunts is falling, the other one is squeezing out. Where did he get that one? Actually I'm not quite sure. Where did he get that one? Ah, with the hunt of course. And level 5 will be crept for Paladin right now as well. But he doesn't have a town portal in this base. Well, three ancient protectors and they are in a pretty good position. The wall here is actually pretty difficult to deal with. And he's getting glaive throws on top of it. So this is going to be turning into an unbreakable defensive line. By at least as long as there are only hunts for Zeus. Glaive throws, ancient protectors. Fended off by ancients of war in the front. Like this is... This is the perfect defense, basically, but he needs to make sure not to get surrounded here at the same time. Hunt still sitting at the uh, Goblin Lab, so um, Reveal is still available. And the main is gone by Zeus. He's up by more than 20 supplies still, and he's gonna be able to march down here and defend this with his way superior army. But at least um, Paladin is going to be given some time and Zeus is going to have to defend here because otherwise uh, the hunts of Paladin will just wreck those buildings on the way. So Priestess, yeah, as I said, level 5 is going to go to the shop right now. Let's see what she's getting. Perhaps dust, perhaps a staff to just be a little bit safer against those surrounds. One Glaive Thrower is out now as well for Zeus. And yeah, he's going into Glaive Thrower production as well. Apparently, you know, in an attempt to eventually break this base down. Because Hunts only are not going to do it. Three Glaive Throwers out for Paladin. Three Glaive Throwers will be out in a second as well for Zeus. And Paladin is getting his next expansion down here. Which Zeus knows that he crept. Keep that in mind. So it's... Rather likely that he's gonna scout this eventually. Priestress just hiding here in front of the base. She actually bought an invis potion and a staff here. Yeah. No uh, dust. His scroll would have also been an idea. And now actually as these guys move out, <laughs> Priestess is blocking this one in. Yeah, and she's gonna get the kill on that one. There's no repair. Uh, there's repair around, but way too late and this one is trapped so getting the free kill on one of these glaives and actually going for the other ones the rest of Zeus's army is turning around right now but Paladin that would be a huge deal if he was able to pick those guys off two of the glaives have fallen the third one is probably going to survive but this is going to delay the push of wow is he gonna get that no he's gonna have to fall back this is going to delay the push of Zeus by such a large amount of time since uh, he's gonna have to March this one down and start mining again before he can produce more Glaive Throwers. And one Glaive Thrower is not really a threat currently to Paladin. Wow, and even this one is being picked off by the Hunts. Or is it? No, it isn't. One of the Hunts is falling. The other ones have to fall back. The Priestess is also falling back. He got a little bit overly aggressive with those there. But still, one Glaive Thrower uh, remains to not be a huge threat here. Priestess is coming in. She Trying to cancel this one here. I mean, she's got the staff, so wouldn't like die immediately. Our warriors have the enemy. Yeah, still 61 supply here for Zeus. 41 in the meantime for Paladin. <laughs> five ancient protectors, four glaive throwers. Glaive thrower number five and number six in production. So we're going into mass glaive throwers right now, which is super immobile, but. Very good against Hunts, of course. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, Zeus cancelled his tier 2. I was just wondering, whatever happened to the tier 2, what... Did he ever do anything with it? Then I was checking the upgrades and there was still one one and then I had to confirm and he actually cancelled it. So I both of the players still... Warriors. No, never mind, Paladin is actually the one who tacked up to tier 2 in the meantime. So he's gonna have the Warpel Blades available, I'm assuming, on these uh, Glaive Throwers. And level 6 in just a second for Zeus. That's also gonna be a factor. And yeah, now he's got the expansion. This one should definitely fall. Uh, Paladin does not yet have the means to defend that or he's probably not even shooting to get the means to defend that because uh, yeah, imagine a bunch of glaive throwers here that wouldn't fare all too well against the large number of huntresses but Zeus is also splitting his army here a little bit trying to keep map control to keep good map awareness of where uh, Paladin is heading for example to see if all of a sudden six, uh, six glaive throwers are heading across the map which he does see right now and how is Paladin gonna react to that is he just gonna town portal here it would probably be the best choice because these hunts should be able to close in on the glaive throws eventually. He's trying to do some hit and run. The first hunt is falling. The first glaive thrower is about to fall as well. Actually, he's doing a pretty good job so far with the hit and run. Yeah, first glaive thrower is now falling. He's splitting those to the top, to the bottom. Another one is falling. But yeah, the hunts are taking so much damage as well. Glaive throwers plus 13 damage thanks to the uh, aura of this priestess. By the way, level 6 has been reached by now thanks to these kills of the glaive throwers by the hunts of Zeus. And after all, he still has to pull the town portal. I think he did okay, but town portaling in the first place would have probably been the better choice there for uh, Paladin. Down to four glaive throws now again. Five and six are being produced. Expansion here is finally running, or former main, and taking up to tier two right now as well. One, two wisps being picked off on the way. The expansion has been killed. New altar is being built. More glaive throwers, still no upgrades. First attack upgrade on Paladin side is coming right now. And once again, the uh, red army is falling back here a little bit. This is still, this is so totally unbreakable with hunts. And whatever happened to his glaive thrower production? Two are out, the third one is being produced. So yeah, he finally is producing more glaive throwers again now as well, but yeah, since he didn't have Golden Camp for a little while, his production has been heavily crippled. Still up by 20 supply. Uh, new Moonwell, yeah, now it is coming for Paladin as he's still supply blocked. The Lone Priestess here is not really in any danger. And he cannot even use the ultimate here, I think, because the damage output is just so insane. He'd, he'd do a tiny bit of damage against everything, but he'd be forced to go back very, very quickly. Hunt is also confirming that there's no new um, base here for Paladin. And where is she going? Ah, sees the Scout Wisp up here. Yeah, actually, no, okay. Micro delayed the Hunt is going to the choke here, sees everything basically, and he's gonna think, what the hell? <laughs> what am I supposed to do against this base? And both of them just invisible scouting here. Zeus, uh, Zeus for Paladin moving out and he'd be very gladly picking apart the glaive throws with his with his hunts. And uh, Paladin waiting for Zeus to show up. And perhaps just wants to make sure that there are no Ancient Protectors or anything coming by his opponent here. But Zeus is the one who's spilling the expansion down here right now. He's going for a second source of gold income. And he seems to be bringing his... Uh, glaive throws across the map right now. Finally, uh, one attack upgrade still on those. Tier 2 has finished by now. Is he getting Warpel Blades? Yes. Our warriors have engaged the and Keeper second for Paladin. So he's gonna have Entangle available against the Starfall of his opponent. A pretty yeah, important factor to take into consideration when it comes to future fights, which you know aren't suicide for Zeus if he uses the ultimate. If he ever gets, gets to use the ultimate in a useful situation, then the Keeper is going to be there with Entangle and he's gonna make sure that the Starfall isn't doing all too much here. So yeah, stare down basically happening on both sides. Expansion has been scouted by this guy I imagine and the Priestess is there to cancel it and all of the hunts, at least a portion of them is heading down to uh, scare this uh, priestess away but I mean that's the staff of preservation uh, staff of teleportation so there's no danger whatsoever of that one dying just make sure 
if I was him to kill this wisp here. The hunt still hiding here, sees everything. This is a, such a good unit here to have the vision around. <laughs> and yeah, Paladin would love to have his glaive throws up here, shooting down against these guys from Zeus if he ever approaches. But it looks like Zeus doesn't feel like attacking the space for some reason, and it's only 3,000 gold in there, so it looks like he's just gonna wait it out. And then uh, Paladin should be the one getting into trouble eventually if he's not able to secure another base for himself. And I think that might be the smarter approach here by Zeus as it is currently, you know, compared to just throwing his entire army away against the space. His expansion is going to run for a lot longer and he's got the map control thanks to the superior number of hunts that he's got right now. Ah, another gift has been picked off here by the Priestess, who's also five and a half already. An invis potion for her. Is there... No, he doesn't even have dust. He does have one. He's scroll by now. Glaive throws are rolling back. And 2,800 left in here. So I think... Now, uh, what's this? Okay, just an Ancient Protector by Paladin. Which he built with the Scout Wisp from up here. Um, yeah, I think... At least Zeus is not gonna take any action anytime soon. He's just gonna wait until this one runs out and then... You know, he's gonna continue mining... He's gonna make sure that the Paladin doesn't take another expansion. And Paladin is eventually going to be forced to make something happen. Moving out of his base right now, but seeing with the Priestress that... Wow, this could actually turn out to be a little bit painful. Yeah, now he reveals himself. Seeing with the Priestress what's going on, he's turning around with his entire Glaive Thrower army again. And the Priestress, out of the invisibility, is able to get one of the... Uh, Glaive Thrower is killed here in a second one, probably as well afterwards she's gonna have to fall back. No, she's falling back immediately as a huge chunk of Hunts is coming in here from the left hand side. And yeah, even the Town Portal has been bought by now on this Priestess by Paladin show. So she's totally safe and sh uh, she's uh, slowly approaching level 6 as well. Uh, Age Protector being built here as well, but visible to this one and therefore has to be cancelled immediately and has to be replaced here. Paladin is now after, I don't know, has he ever been in upkeep? I don't think so, actually. So after like half an hour, he's going into uh, low upkeep as well. Just got attacked by the creeps here. Did he just use invisibility potion and then got dispelled by the guy? I think so. So that's a bit unlucky, to say the least. Second attack upgrade, by the way, finished on these glaive throws. Of Paladin, the Keeper still has zero experience, he's just waiting for a Starfall at some point. To, to uh, one upgrades on the units of um, Zeus, except for the Glaive Throwers, since they don't have um, armor upgrades. And apparently he says, screw it, I'm gonna start doing some creeping. He's bringing a couple of Wisps to repair the Glaive Throwers. Gonna get, hopefully for him, a great item here. Whereas, again, the Glaive Throws are moving out for Paladin. Yeah, he has to make something happen here. There is 1,500 gold remaining in his expansion. So it looks like he's gonna try and go for the top one. And Reveal is being used by Zeus with the perfect timing. He sees what's happening here. And he might be heading towards the top immediately to uh, try and punish the, uh, the Glaive Throws for the creeping here. Priestess of uh, Paladin sees the other units, Zeus's units, coming in level 2 on the Keeper. The uh, Rock Golem gets taken down here very convincingly and we'll see he's up the choke. He could maybe get a few waves out here and do a very, you know, significant load of damage before he's forced to Town Portal out here and he's, yeah, he's waiting at, at the top here. He doesn't, uh, yeah, he doesn't feel like he needs to really run away here currently, I think, yeah, he could, he could try and take a decent fight here. But now Zeus is bringing his Glaive Throwers as well, 78 supply against 54, 1300 gold for Paladin. It's not producing anymore, very strange to stay at 54 supply here. Some scout uh, treants marching here, the first... Uh, the first hunt has immediately been taken down. I think he could have... Ah, okay, Town Portal is being used. Never mind. 
One glaive throw going down. On the way, and these two will go down as well. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was about to say for a second, he could have used the staff hold there because the keeper just used entangle, but at the same time, um, the priestess of Paladin already used the town portal, so he was aware of that, and he was aware that he would leave the fight anyway, and therefore he just spent that one entangle to make sure one of the hunts got killed. Six and a half on the priestess of Zeus by now, and... 5.8 or so on the priestess of Paladin. He's actually, yeah, he's building the expansion up here. Of course, he needs to. But uh, is this a keeper as well? Yes, keeper second as well by Zeus. Um, but Zeus really needs to scout carefully. He knows that this has been crept. He knows that Paladin needs to get an expansion up eventually in order to stay in this game. And the glaive throws are ready. Hunts are being uh, flown up here to those glaive throws, and he's dropping inside of them, taking a huge lot of damage here immediately, picking them up again. Of course, the glaive throws do some pretty significant splash damage, so also hurting each other if the hunts are dropping in between them, kind of reminiscent of the uh, StarCraft uh, drops in between tanks. Yeah, Zeppelin available for. Zeus right now, really trying to finally make something happen here. It feels like, is he really not aware of... Yeah, I mean, it's such a ballsy attempt by Paladin. Maybe he just doesn't anticipate that, but he really should just confirm that there is no expansion, even if he has that, uh, you know, even if he, if he feels like there is none. Because, yeah, he's wrong. Paladin is out of gold income for the moment. Oh no, he's even gotten another one here. And both are unscouted by Zeus. And this could really, really backfire at him. That's, I said it previously, the only way for Paladin to win this game was to get an expansion up somehow, despite the large number of hunts of uh, Zeus, which should be able to really make that a, an almost impossible task for, uh, for Paladin. And yet he got two expansions up. This one running already and this one running soon. Hunts again flying up here. Reveal even used, but not here. Reveal used only at the army of uh, of Paladin, who's even adding an Age of Wind here, so he eventually wants to add um, a Hippogriff. Another Glaive has been sniped out here by the Priestress. But he sees that there's a, even a new production building coming. He's got to be aware of the fact that there is some gold income. Even another moon build, there's got to be some gold income. He's got to... Ah, he doesn't see the moon, well, but he's got to realize that there's at least the potential for that. Other than that, the keeper went all the way up to level 3 almost already. Wow. I mean, okay, he got the camp up here crap, yeah, and a couple of pickoffs by now. I mean, um, really getting into a good position here is like super difficult. He's going to drop again. Looks like some quite risky business and yeah, the battle seems to begin but this isn't really the position that uh, Zeus desperately wants to fight in. His hunts are completely useless in this position and uh, Paladin is doing a really good job, you know, making it hard for Zeus to to make use of the fact that he does have all these hunts remaining. Now the, um, oh, the reveal was still too far away from the expansion, still doesn't see it, still doesn't see either of them. Uh, what was I saying previously? Of course, he would love to have these hunts, um, you know, help him in the fight. Have the glaive throws battle each other and have the hunts be in between the glaive throws. And finally, he's going for the expansion. He sees it. And if Paladin doesn't commit here, then this expansion will fall extremely quickly. Do we see another Tree of Life here even by Paladin? There's the Starfall used immediately. And, and Tang after half a second, he's going used. And... 3 HP on the Priestess and she survives. Somehow, is there another Entangle available? Yes, the Priestess of Zeus is surviving. At the same time, a bunch of Glaive Throws on either side have fallen already. The Hunts finally are getting into a good position. Level 2 on the Keeper of Zeus. Only a few Glaive Throws remaining on both sides, but especially Paladin seems to have taken a lot of damage here. Now level 6 on his Priestess as well. And there is one more Entangle on the Keeper currently, so Starfall is a bit of a... 
And now he could use Starfall eventually, as there's no more mana, and he's even getting the kill on the Keeper, and now he can use Starfall, and there's nothing that Zeus can really do to keep those Glaives alive. He's running. The Zeppelin has been taken down in the meantime, though, by the Hippogriff, and everything is... Um, is uh, Dizzy and the Keeper of Zeus has fallen as well. Chaos ensuing here. The one Glaive Thrower is going to get away. And, yeah, once the smoke clears, we have a few hunts remaining on the side of Zeus, which are all Dizzy, though. And level 7 on the Priestess of Zeus, who had to fall back to the Fountain, though, after surviving with, like, 0.5 HP. Level 4 on the Keeper of Paladin, though. And with only the two heroes, he's able to chase the rest of these dizzy hunts away. There's no way in hell that they can take a fight against these two heroes. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. And yeah, 41 supply on the side of Zeus, 44 on the side of Paladin. So while he was able to take down these uh, these glaive throws here in the beginning with the hunts, he lost so many hunts uh, towards the end there. Let's see, where did he just scout with the crystal ball? Not sure. Not at the top, at least. He was able to get these slaves, the majority of them killed with the with the hunts, but he lost most of the hunts for it. And in the end, he lost the majority of his glaive throwers as well. So the second this priestess was able to uh, get the to get the starfall in here, when the keeper went down, when all of the glaives were exposed, the game really seems to have shifted into Paladin's favor right now because he is the one with. A whole bunch of expansions right now. This one is running, this one is running, this one is, you know, Tree of Life is at least finished, and this is the only expansion that Zeus has, or the only source of gold income that he has, and this one is the first one which is gonna run out. Let me just confirm that. Oh, not quite. It's going to be the second one, but this one's gonna last way longer, and this one, of course, hasn't even been uh, taken yet, and now the Wisp is gonna scout it, and this is not going to be making him, you know, feel any better about his scouting here. Especially if he clicked here and saw that his uh, his opponent already mined out about two and a half thousand gold out of this one. Immediately getting his own Tree of Life here. It should be. Ah, oh, it's not being seen by the Tree of Life. But he feels like he's going to be able to take this one down um, and take it with his own Tree of Life immediately. Four, five, six Glaive Throwers still here against uh, the six Glaive Throwers as well on the side of Paladin. The huge difference right now is the Keepers. I mean, this one is level 4 already against only level 2 on the other Keeper. And this is a pretty comfortable position for Zeus at the moment. At the top of the choke, way superior vision, uh, the new hunts. Okay, he's deciding to still throw a few hunts in there. They're not gonna make it for all too long. The Keeper here, <laughs> damage output of these uh, Glaive Throws is quite crazy. Does he get an Entanglement? Yes, and look at the damage output against this Keeper with the Glaive Throws. I mean, they are doing such a huge lot of damage. The other Keeper is in trouble as well, but it looks like he's gonna get away. And as the Keeper of Zeus went down again, another Starfall is going to get rid of the majority of the Glaive Throws here. Yeah, all of them have fallen. The Priestress and the two remaining hands of Zeus are doing the best job they can against the Glaive Throws of Paladin. 49 supply for Paladin against 32 for Zeus, who lost, yeah, everything except those three units here. And the Keeper is still there as well, and he's got so much mana, he could even go for the Priestess of the Moon here. Yeah, he does go it for her with the first Entangle, and there still are, a, it seems, a sheer infinite amount of uh, of Entangles remaining on this Keeper. 200, more than 200 mana, Sobi Mask, Clarity, he, um, he Potion passed right now. And mana potion. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Our gold yeah, another hunt fallen here. Yeah, level 7 on this priestess as well. And what's the next step here for uh, Paladin expansion? 1300 gold remaining. Taking down another scout wisp. Why not just getting this free pick off? And another expansion is being built down here by Paladin as this one has run out. Currently, uh, Paladin again out of Golden Camp for the moment. But not for long. And at the moment, he is the one with the way, way superior army. And this Priestess cannot get too aggressive here because of Entangle and the focus fire of these Glaive Throwers. Now, as, oh yeah, <laughs> as Entangle was used, he used the Starfall. But as you can see, the damage output is way too high for this Priestess to stay alive for... A longer period of time while using Starfall, so she's gonna fall back. The Glaive Throwers are taking down the Hunter's Hall here, or are they? Yeah, they will eventually. 
Keeper needs to be careful here and tangle again on the priestess. She's taken another load of damage, 250 HP remaining. The keeper is now back for Zeus and what's he gonna try to go for here? It is the keeper of Paladin which is trying to snipe but look at his keeper taking so much damage immediately being sniped out by the glaive throws. And now the Priestess is really committing against this Keeper, but he's casting Entangle on her again. Do the Glaive Throws get in range? Yes, they are, and the Priestess should be able to deal the final blow here. Level 5 for the Keeper of Paladin, and haha, <laughs> calls Zeus GG 2-1 to one for Paladin in a pretty exciting game overall. I mean, there's been some slower periods during the middle of this game. I think Zeus got a great start. He was able with that push with the 65-ish supply and 1-1 one, one hunts, he took down the entire base of Paladin and I think he would have been able to just commit to the uh, expansion and kill it. I said it during the game, I think he just didn't want to risk falling for some base trade action there because he didn't have a town portal anymore and he didn't know whether there were more trees of life um, somewhere around the map of Paladin, so I think he wanted to play it safe which, you know, wasn't, didn't sound all too bad. And he kept his advantage for the majority of the game until the fight, you know, around um, Paladin's former main base happened, where basically from like 80 against 60-ish supply, uh, both of the players dropped down to uh, like 40. And uh, both of them had nearly nothing remaining. That's when basically the game was shifting into Paladin's favor because afterwards he was the one with... The, uh, the the superior gold income and um, therefore he was the one able to uh, reinforce with units more quickly and then the next fight at the uh, you know below the 12 o'clock spawn position again went into Paladin's favor as he was able to kill the majority of uh, or all actually all of the glaive throwers with uh, Starfall and uh, yeah then he had basically won the game he just went to the main and finished it and uh, therefore he takes the best of three with two to one after two rather one-sided games and one uh, not as one-sided game in the end there four hero kills to zero uh yeah we do see zeus had the had the bigger army at the huge fight at paladin's former main base yet paladin was able to uh, make it through that one uh therefore paladin joins the top of this group um, after Happy, together with Mew and in front of Zeus and uh, Diesel and Hot for the moment is at the bottom with uh, zero maps won so far. Next play day uh, we're gonna see Happy and Mew face off uh, the battle of the victors. Zeus and Hot are going to play the battle of the losers to determine uh, who's going to stay down at still zero points after playing number two. And Diesel is going to face Paladin, so Paladin is going to have to show that uh, he can win another Night Death Mirror on playing number two. But at first, at playing number two, we're going to go back to group number one or group A. Hooligan against Hasu Ops will be our first match, also a match between two winners of uh, the first play day. So um, that's going to be exciting, and that's what we're going to see next. And for now leave a uh, comment, give a thumbs up for this pretty amazing game and um, yeah, tune in next time. Bye.